Hello, 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 and welcome back. We have a special guest this week. Joining us is Raccoon City Comics. Hello, hello. What's up? <laughs> welcome, I think, Dave. Uh, I think we're going to talk about the past sales on eBay. Yeah. We're going to check in on the Comic Connect auction, and then I'm sure I'll let you guys uh, go through your pickups. I know Carter's probably got a lot of stuff. Um, let me roll our intro, and we'll get right started. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, well, I guess to start, um, why don't you tell us a little bit about how you got into collecting VHS? All right. Uh, you're talking to me, right? Yes, Absolutely, sir. yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably like three, four years ago, and uh, I got really just jaded and sick of the comic book market because I've been doing it uh, what feels like forever. And, you know, it was just the market i guess stats of it at that time it was getting real wacky like not as wacky as it is now but like just a little different back then and i was just bored so i stumbled down the vhs rabbit hole uh my buddy was buying records actually at like a thrift shop kind of like a junk store and they just had this huge box of horror tapes and it was like a hundred bucks for the whole thing and uh wow. i didn't know shit about it like at all i just remembered like a few of the tapes from like growing up you know the names and stuff and seeing a few and i it ended up being like like worth like i don't know like a thousand bucks for the shit Jeez. right wow. out the gate and it was like oh this is pretty cool this is like kind of like comic books and then uh i don't know i found a bunch of the horror stuff a buddy of mine had a whole storage locker uh he sold it to me um it was like thousands and thousands of horror tapes stuff i'd never heard of or seen before and like the cover artwork was like fucking awesome it was it just you know like all original art you know and just like pre-code horror right? so it kind of took its place you know and addictions just spiral real fucking quick so right <laughs> nice dude yeah and that's four years ago and here we are now so so that's mostly what you collect just horror tapes uh, i mean i collect it all you know just whatever i watch a bunch of it and most of it sucks but <laughs> yeah, some of those horror movies that like really obscure horror that you have to watch it and then you know if you don't watch it then you never know how good or how, how bad the movie is sometimes the worse it is the better it is <laughs> that is true that is true there's, there's a movie can i think called there is something out there that that was like a wacky horror movie that i saw uh, there is a lot of those man so what do you think about the sealed market? Um, I think it's awesome, to be honest. I mean, I think it's growing. I think it does need a lot of uh, support, per se, I guess, or, uh, just to get, you know, more traction, more exposure. Um, I think it's better than a lot of other collectible markets. I think it's fresh. The nostalgia, like, aspect of it is genuine, like, and just deep-rooted, I think, to the core. And I think I love it, to be honest. I just think it needs to get a bigger push. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I feel like it's going in the right direction. I was a little nervous for a while. I was like, I don't know. This is going to be something that people actually get into. But I'm glad that it's taking off the way that it is. It's so new, though. I mean, that's the other thing. You know, like people say that. And it's like for any market that you like in any business, you know, field, it's just it's it's been like two years you know, for the sealed end of it. So it's like, it's really in its infancy still. So, I mean, I think it's got a long way to go, but it's, you know, it'll be fun. What do you think, Carter? As far as the, the as a seal market, do you like it so far? Do you think it's going to go forward, that's all, backwards? That's all, that's all I buy. <laughs> Listen, <I'm gonna> <laughs> eight, 80s toys and VHS slash Betamax. This, the only thing I buy is sealed. So good call. Um, good call. Yeah, I think. Per, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, personally, I mean, in, in my opinion, I, I think the VHS seal market is gonna be closer to the the art market, where it's not gonna be mainstream like like comic book world that you have so many, you know, demand for the Doctor Doom books, Spider Man books, Fantastic Four. But there's a lot of nostalgia about the 80s, that's for sure. And guys my age, if you're between 42 to 57, 
you definitely know be a chess and 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 again i think those those are going to be the, the the strongest market for the 80s movies and and the horror is going to be big that's the way i see it the rest is, is going to be a speculation like like just be careful buying 90s stuff and 2000s unless it's the 2005 that last year of release of vhs you know like batman begins um 40 year old virgin napoleon dynamite i mean some of those are, are gonna go for for a decent amount but uh, mostly 80s stuff and horror stuff yeah for sure i would agree yeah i think uh the only time you want to pick up anything that's like in the in the 90s or early 2000s is like demos or screeners promos no, stuff like yeah. that i mean because it's just like the height of when the stuff was produced so there's just so much of it out there unless yeah. it's something obscure it's just not gonna be worth anything so i agree because i saw the american um history x you know with edward norton um and you know if you go on ebay probably now you, you can find the, the the movie for what 30 bucks 40 bucks but the screener i think the screener is gonna be more obviously it has gonna be a lot of value on, in, in an auction mm -hmm. all right well actually i have one more question before i move on to let carter start showing us his uh his pickups we'll, we'll for this hold, week we'll hold off for a minute okay on that Okay, what? Where does the name Raccoon City Comics come from? <laughs> oh, just, I'm a degenerate uh, raccoon. Just, Show us know. the raccoon, Dave. Where's the raccoon? Show us the oh, raccoon. He's in the other room. No, he's in the other room. But, he has a real raccoon there, Maya. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, I have like other stuff, like of it, where it's like just everything. Oh, is, that's cute. Yeah, everything is trash. Man, you have, but you have a. You have an actual raccoon? No, are you no, are you fucking no, with me? No, no, no. Oh my god, I was so excited for like half a second. Yeah. Yeah. I live in West Virginia though. I've known you people that have owned raccoons. Nice. <laughs> Does that have anything to do with um Resident Evil or no? I mean, like the play on it, yeah. You know, I mean I grew up playing the games and all that, like the all but it really was more of the animal, you know. Interesting. Yeah, because that's uh, the city that for Resident Evil, right? Yeah. For the for the video game. Yeah, but I think raccoons are, are, are really it's a combination of cute but also nasty. They can be really <laughs> cute and, and they can f you over. A little troublemakers. Trash man. Troublemakers. They okay. go into the trash and and they just do damage. So Carter, if you want to hold off, I guess we can start looking at the past eBay sales first. There's like a lot let's, of really good stuff that's sold. Let's so let me... see I got sold. I got another question for Raccoon City. Okay, so you started collecting what three years ago? Uh, what's what's your uh, favorite bunch of tapes that you've uh, collected over the years? I mean, I'm into all the horror stuff, like because they parallel the pre-code horror, you know. So like just the I've, i'm kind of like pablo so i mean i flip through a lot of stuff too and i play the groups a lot in the facebook so like i do fire sales all that kind of shit and um i mean i just run through it all pretty what, much what, are, are there any tapes you're uh, just gonna die with you think no i can't say that. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, i wish i could like i can't like I, I used to say that about comics like i would die with some of them and even that i you know it's easy come easy go yeah i think uh it's like again I, I love this stuff you know but at the end of the day for for the right price you know everything goes right <laughs> at, the, at the end of the day yeah pablo once said, said something that was like you know uh collect uh what moments not not things right it was like you should collect memories and in life you know and just have fun out there and life's an adventure you know because that's like a, the core of what it is i guess i agree yeah with that. yeah just yeah. like with uh comics like it's like once you get over the thrill of finding like a hundred dollar book for a dollar you're just yeah. like okay now what, yeah, now when, what yeah when you do it like like times a dozen or two dozen times wash rinse repeat with the same books over even the rare shit it just it's you know monotonous and you need to switch it up and keep it fresh or else the yeah, I, think, I think for us, like uh, for me, Dave, and probably you too, Carter, it's, it's the thrill of the hunt. I mean, oh, absolutely. Like, That's all the fun of it. Maya, too, it. you know. That's finding you find it. it. Mm -hmm. And then again, you just go through 
the usual channels, Craigslist, offer up, you know, eBay when it pops, you know, and then you have the, the local connections and then you got your relationships that you know people that used to be for me with comic books on instagram man i mean i, I missed so many great connections uh and then we just started meeting locally in the la area you know with vhs is is, is coming along i'm just seeing uh today i share with with you guys in the group like um a guy bought the copy of the crow, the crow you know with brandon lee that was his first vhs Oh, my buddy was just talking about how, like, he fucking loves that movie. I was at a comic show yesterday, and uh, my buddy T was just talking about that movie randomly. Like, that's a good movie. Remake it or something, you know? Yeah. Because... And it's funny because that's a movie that when it, when we started going into the sealed market, we thought that that was going to be like $200, $300. And now it's like you can, it's like a $30, $40 movie. <laughs> There's just but, too many of them. But see, like... that's why it's all new because no one knows these things. Like, until... That's true. We don't know how many of those are out there. If enough people catch on to it and enough people buy it, yep. then you know that that forty dollar tape could be could be something. It's kind of like uh, Ninja Turtles. We talk about it all yeah. the time. The Ninja Turtles movie, the live action movie. There's like so many of them, but every time we see them sell, they're they're several hundred dollars, and the price just keeps climbing. Even though more of them keep popping up, it makes no sense. But it's like there surely aren't as many tapes as there are people who want the Ninja Turtle tape. So we still have value. And see, yeah. people also, I think, forget, like, they because you can always reference it to, <clears throat> like, comic books again. There's, like, I mean, there's thousands of comic books. And, you know, as you go back, the errors get less and less, you know, like, for volume. But, I mean, there's thousands of them, and that doesn't stop buyers or collectors and fans from loving them. So, like, I don't... I just never got why people compare that with the VHS where it's like, you know, thinking that way about it, that like, oh, you know, you see a couple dozen of them even say of a tape and they're like, oh, it's not rare enough. I mean, by all standards, it still is very rare, you know, in the general sense here. So like, for example, show us that, that uh, the comic book that you have, like the, that pedigree book, how many of those are out there? Not Probably maybe like 25. Yeah. I mean, you can show, get an show exact it. Show it. Show it. They show that super mystery, please. What is it? Look I'm at that obsessed. I'm obsessed with that book. Look at that. Yeah. 8.5. Is it a promise collection? Yeah. Rob's obsessed with it too. He keeps bothering me about it. But show, show the art. Show the artwork of the little old the girl being chopped like in half. That's amazing. Yeah. Paper cutter. Paper cutter and and. It's got all kinds of shit going on in it. It's I like love that cover, man. Cover. What else do you have in there? What is that? Adventures into Terror? Third oh, that's highest. a good cover. Oh, I love that cover. Yeah, Bondage. Bondage. That's a big thing in comics, I'm learning. People love Bondage covers. I mean, look I at Wonder see. Woman. She's always getting tied up. Like, that's true. Ladies. I think the guy was obsessed uh, with a psychotherapist that created the... Oh, yeah. The he, he right? was a he, he was a huge intellectual pervert. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's the best kind. Right. And yeah, the so I, the thing of it, I'm trying to find the VHS equivalent mm. to those comics. Mm. Yes, yeah, you dig what I'm saying? Zone yeah. like de demon or what's that other one? The Black Devil Doll. Um, Black Devil Doll from Hell. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think th that's a good move, uh, Carter. I mean, there's uh, there's probably like decapitation covers. There is bondage covers. You got everything. They clown covers. You got slasher covers. You know. I mean, there's knife. hundreds, if not thousands, too, of them. Like yeah. new shit to find every day. Like I still find shit four years later. Like I've never. Yeah. Seen and the thing about VHS is always you want to go for the seal, but when you're talking horror, some of the horror stuff, like for example. Um, you know, sleep away camp. I mean, the first release that's a hundred and fifty, two hundred dollar tape. Killer clans from outer space. That's a hundred and eighty, two hundred dollar tape open right now. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, look at, yeah, look but, at uh, like like what chainsaw hookers. Like God forbid the variant one. I mean, those are five hundred dollar tapes. They always yep. have them since all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Carter, if you see open horror on eBay, when you do your little hunting uh, skills. If you see Hollywood Chainsaw Hookers, if you see Killer Clowns, I mean, and they're on their hundred, you should take them down. No, no, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Really? Yeah. There's, what's the other one? There's a lot of uh, camp video ones too that are valuable, like uh, video, video yeah. violence and 
video um, violence, um, like street trash, mm, front end hooker. Uh, there is a lot. But mm. just go for what you know, Carter. Like the, if you see the cover and it's kind of uh, artsy or shocking and it's an 80s horror, you have to take it down. If it's 90s, no. Because 90s is definitely a lot of those out there. But 80s, those are rare. Right, yeah, well, you'll know when you see it. There we I go. Look, I want to look at these eBay sales for this past week. This has been um, interesting, to say the least. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> House party. Oh, I'm sorry. This one, yeah. There you go. Yeah. House party? What? I, I Did I see that? Yeah, you, I, missed I, you know I you saw it, but he, but I'm like, ah, oh, that's too much. I wonder what he accepted for it. And mm. I, from what I understand, and from what I think, it might be. I don't think it's a first release either. Oh, I no. don't think. I don't think. Mm. Is this a good movie? New Mup? and home video is kind of hard to tell. As, uh, this movie is a classic. Never seen it. Oh, I've never seen those watermarks. That's interesting. Yeah. So it's not the first release, or it is. I, you know what? Yeah, I, it. I, I can't be sure. Marks, like... I gotta, I gotta research it a little bit more, but I, I don't think it is. But I have no idea. To be honest with you, I've never heard of this movie. Yeah. I've never what? seen that either. The Turner Home Entertainment. Never seen that. Uh, it's it's uh, two late eighties, uh, early nineties rappers. They're uh, they're high school students, and they throw a party. I think it has sequels though, too, right? Tons of sequels. <laughs> but you always go with the original, right? I think so too. This movie is a classic, hip hop hmm. classic. Interesting. What do you guys yeah. think for the price on this uh, Ghostbusters? That's the watermarks on this side, right? Uh, it has to be with that price. Yeah. Eh. Yeah, it's, de it's decent. Oh, that's Ray. That's Ray. Son of a gun. You know the seller? That's our boy. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> hey, Ray. The Medicus. That's, he sold that day. Look at him. Look at Los Angeles over there. Oh, which means he has a better copy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Surely, surely this means Ray has got an upgrade. Ray has another one. Yeah, like a side loader. Side loader. That's, yeah, that's definitely. Better. Okay, so how how far how far down the release chain is this? Because it's, it's okay. So it's it's a bottom loader. It has the little hologram stick at the bottom. Yeah, I think side water marks. Yeah. I'm not an expert, but definitely you want to look for the back watermarks on the full box. I want to say that it's like the third or the fourth. Yeah, it should be third, third or fourth down the, the pecking order. Hmm. I, I would think anybody that just has the um, like the Ghostbusters with the red box, I mean the red border and the RCA logo on it, I think people just kind of want that. It seems. Right, I think so too. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, I think the, the key one is going to be the full box and the back watermarks because, like, people who are deeper into the collecting um, are going to look for that stuff. But I think, uh, I think just the red box in itself has value because it's just iconic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then this is like an iconic cover. So if you cannot afford that, the, the, the back watermarks and the full box, and you can pay four hundred dollars, I, I think it's it's a decent right. deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this about? These must be the uh, what is it? Gateway prints. Oh, those are all sealed. Oh, yeah, well, those are the those. '90s releases. Yeah, it's gonna be the Gateway prints. Yeah, they're they're shit. Yep, there they are. They're they are caca. I see. <laughs> I see those. Even I, I'm just like, I know not to buy that. <laughs> yeah, see, like even that's like too much money though, because like those, like that shit, like flies in groups for like ten bucks, like those tapes, like. <laughs> all day, like, yeah. see it's not the first like. time though i've seen that i think uh i don't remember how much it was six or seven hundred bucks when i had this set um because i picked them up for like 200 bucks and everyone was like nah you overpaid for those and i was like i don't know i feel like i'm gonna flip them on ebay and i did on it was uh it was on friday the 13th somebody bought them and i think they went for like six or seven hundred bucks on a buy it now Jeez. so i don't know why but <laughs> I think people get confused. You know, this is what, what we're going to see a lot of it for the next year. I think that especially for the people, the new people coming in, 
it's like you you carter and you dave and you maya and me we, we we have a learning curve so we've been we've been following vhs for a while so we are more familiar with a lot of information the new guys coming in they just see Friday the 13 and they think it's like a comic book, like it's Spider-Man 1, it's a Spider-Man 1, and, and it doesn't work like this and on VHS, so they're going to be mistakes, too. No, VHS is confusing as fuck. Look yeah. at that. Rad. Okay, uh, right, please, cl please click on that. that though. Like, that's just I love this movie, man. It's one of the best 80s movies. Yeah, it's Holy a cult, you know, favorite. It's, it, it sells for like 100 bucks, like raw, like without being sealed. And imagine if it was oh, the wow. embassy. Yeah, that's embassy. not even that's not even an embassy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you you just don't see this one seal at all. So I think this is a good buy. Uh, but we'll see how many embassies pop after this. I just bought a sealed uh, laser disc of Rad. Oh, nice! Spoiler nice. alert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rad. I didn't pay anywhere near that for it either. <laughs> of course. <laughs> they should do a remake of this movie. Uh, let's see what else. Short circuit? Here. That's real? No, that's there's no way. No way. There's no way. No way, no. I don't think so. I mean, I guess you don't really know, but I don't. I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't count on that. Top Gun, Ferris Wheeler. Can, can we take a look at Ferris Bueller? Yeah. <laughs> I'm interested. Is that the first release? No. It doesn't look like it. No. Let's see the back. You need the one with the five watermarks, right? Yeah. So this is kind of like the Back to the Future 86 versus the 89 kind of thing? It's got the 75th yeah, logo I was going to say, it's got it. the 75th, though. So I guess, again, you know, it's like, I don't know about this movie, if this is the first first or the second. It doesn't look like it has any watermarks on it, though. Am I missing them? Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. I see it. I see it. It's right yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, no. Nope. That, that's no, just I don't glare. see anything. Oh, it's glare. I just saw it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This side. No, nothing on that side. So it has no watermarks. Uh oh. That's not good. Yeah, yeah. that's not good at all. I mean, it's got, it's got like a decent seam on the back, but that's about it. Mm. Damn. Somebody paid that. Ain't got no watermarks. Boy, yeah. Boy, no, I wouldn't have. <laughs> But sometimes they go for that little sticker in the front, especially if it says the name of the movie. Does it say the name of the movie on the front sticker, on the front cover? Mm, when you see that thirteen ninety nine, does it say Ferris Wheeler in there? Yeah, Ferris Wheeler. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, when when you have that, in my opinion, I, I think it's a good gamble. If it says the name of the movie, I don't think that's a, like a previewed or or used. It's, it's usually means that's new. But that's my opinion. I wouldn't have paid that much for it with no watermarks, though. No. Just my personal. I hear you on that. How much did that Blade Runner go? Uh, let me find out. So September 8th. So that, that's the what, third release? I, I believe so. I know. Ten our bucks. Mine. <laughs> So you know exactly for how much you went for, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. Nice. Yeah, 130point.com. Interesting. No way that's a first print, right? Nelson? Don't they no, usually just third, do reprints? Third. Third, okay. third, yeah. Is there are, there are there any tapes that are first print from Nelson? Uh, Bill and Ted, maybe? That's a good question. Uh, I mean, usually it's... it's there is the embassy releases. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're like reprints. Maybe Princess Bride. I think I've seen For it. For some reason, I think Bill and Ted is too. Bill and but Ted. But I can't remember. Yeah. Oh, another Top Gun. That's an interesting combination. Is that the, like the 90s releases? The one on the end definitely is. It's like a mix. Yeah, it's like a mix. That's definitely like a 90s release. That's what I see. You know, um, that's you a, a '90s pro. release. Wow. This one, I don't think so. No, this was '87. Okay. That's that's bizarre. Okay, they just got all three. They're just like, oh, just get all of them, and one of them will be what you're looking for. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I mean, somebody okay. loves you know Star Wars. You get in three different covers, kind of, and if, 
you know, that's maybe a true fan of the franchise. Both those what are these going for right now, these Empire Strikes Backs? I mean, that one is, what, $600, 500 with the back uh, white watermarks? Yeah. Yeah, I Maybe they're, close they're, to they're definitely four. not. Uh, I would yeah. say that these two tapes here are completely worthless, and then that this one is not worth. <laughs> not worth yeah. thirteen hundred bucks. Yeah, we're gonna have to look at this show a year from like in twenty twenty three. Right. Come come back to this. Let's see what else we got here. Something that jumps out. It's a good sale for Ghostbusters. Oh, space balls. Seven fifty. Nice. Again, these. What? Don't don't tell me that's the first uh, Temple of Doom. There's no way they are. They're definitely reprints. Got Somebody made a be, mistake. Yeah, got to be reprints. Jesus. Oh Christ. wait, I don't know. Hold on. No, it has it by watermarks. No, so there I, it is. Yeah, that's good. Somebody's on this and that, that's somebody, yeah, somebody got a really good deal. No, someone got a good deal because that's, I mean, that's uh, that's the first relief right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was an excellent pickup. Excellent picks up on that. This one was cool, too. I don't know if you guys saw this one. I have no idea what it is, but it's turtles, and I've never seen it before, so I was bidding on it, but I was like, man, I don't know if it's worth 400 bucks. Well, I've Some seen kind it of, before, uh, but, like, not sealed. What year is this movie? Like, after the, 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 the 90s movie, right? Is it 93, 92? Uh, let's see the back. If it even says. No, doesn't it? 1990? Oh, 1990, wow. It's some kind of promotional thing, though, with the railway. So, so it teaches oh, you to uh, ride the railway safely. Yeah. Oh, Probably. that's nice. Where's Mikey? They're missing Mikey. In Los Angeles. Look at that, of all places. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. I'm, I'm anxious to see. I feel like this is going to end up at an auction soon, so I'm excited to see what it's going to go for. Now, that's a rare one. Okay. Yeah, I think it was a good pickup. I was so nervous bidding on it, and I was like, ah, and then I let it go, and now I'm like already regretting it. <laughs> you know how it is. Supergirl, that's not the first release, guys. Yeah, yeah I was going to say. Anytime you see Avid or Avid or on, at the bottom, that's definitely a void. That nasty-ass logo. Yuck. Yeah, definitely. Don't do it, guys. Let's see what else. Yeah. Oh, look at that Jaws. That's wow. for you, Dave. Get that Jaws, raccoon. Jaws, they hate raccoons. Oof, some faded watermarks. I feel like there might be like a lot of these. Yeah, I, yeah, I kind of thought that too. They When they were going for such high amounts, I'm like, hmm. Yeah. So be careful what we're paying for these guys. Unless you got the back watermarks, then then you got something. If you got side watermarks, I don't think it's over a thousand dollar tape in the future. Those are pretty faded. Yeah. Because it's just too many of those. Poltergeist. That's not a that's not a first print either, is it? There's no. another. Can we take a look at that one? I want to see what's up with that. Isn't there one before this? It should be at the bottom, right? Is there a sticker? There oh, there oh sticker? it's got a big tear in it. That's why. Oh, okay. That's why. That's absolutely why. Yeah, yeah. I think we actually saw this one last week. Is that all of them? September 4th. Yeah, maybe we went through all the ones this week. All right. What about cars? Yeah, I think we saw these last week. Somebody got a super deal on that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Fly, I think I saw The Fly. That's mm. one of my favorite 80s horror movies of all time. Yeah, I think we covered all these ones last week. No. Not a ton, then, over 400. Now we, Child's um, Play. Mm -hmm. what, what, what was up with Child's Play? That's big. Mm -hmm. That's the first release. Holy crap. Pay attention, Raccoon. You should get Child's Play, I guess. Looks mint, near mint. Did we take a look at that one last week or no? I think so. That's September 3rd, so two weeks ago. Yeah, I try to go a week back so that uh, nobody gets backdoored from that's, watching that's our show. Super clean. Yeah, I think we looked at this last week. Super clean. Yeah. Okay, so does MGM have watermarks 
from around this time or no? Mm. I never seen a child's play so far with watermarks. Uh, I've seen it with the little blue sticker thingy. Just the seal. Yeah, but not. Uh, I've seen MG other tapes with watermarks, but not child's play. So at least my experience so far. Have you yeah. seen anything like they, Dave? No. I mean, I, I usually don't see a lot on like MGM to begin with, though. Yeah, and Charles Place is again, it's late 80s horror stuff. So there should be plenty of these out there, but um, still, this is, a, this is a, one of those that you cannot, if you can take it down for under a thousand dollars, I think it's a good buy. You can buy as many as you want of this one. Mm. The first one. I mean, I would go with all three of them, to be honest. There are four or whatever the hell there is at this point, to be honest. I like the, the Bride of Chucky. I mean, that, the, 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 Seed like, of, the Seed of Chucky. I mean, that came in 2005. That's a late release, too. Yeah, and that's a tough tape to get. Like you That's know, really to get. tough to get. That's what I was saying about, like, if 2005 releases, the Bride of Chucky, no, the, the Seed of Chucky. And it has a great cover, too. See, as far as open tapes go, I feel like I've come across so many Bride of Chucky's, but the actual Child's Play, I've only, I've only had a handful of them. Like I feel like I always find the sequel more than the original, uh, for open stuff. Yeah, but for seal stuff, I think you, there's a lot of the part twos out there, and there's a lot of part threes. Mm. Uh, those you shouldn't pay more than a hundred. I mean, that's my opinion. Right, um, right. Just put all your money on the first one, and then see the Chucky if he if he can get the, the that two thousand and five release. Hmm. Let's see what the Comic Connect auction is doing. We still got like a day on this. Ooh, ooh! Look at those beauties. Spider Man. That's all super low. I like these. I know that they're probably not super rare, but I really like these. All yeah, of them. I like those two actually like. Like all of the the hero stuff, the yeah. ones. I mean, imagine that Spider Man. You know, is under the the value of the grading, so the grading is seventy bucks, I guess. Yeah, I really like these. I like all of these Marvel classic That's videos. Those are cover. Even though they're from, I think the nineties. Oh yeah. Do you guys believe? Yeah, those are late. yeah. Do you guys believe in in cartoons like for Sylvia Chess? Man, it's got to be early, though. You know I do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, I've been pushing that one. Nice, Dave. Yeah, I love cartoons. There's, like, certain ones I get. I I, I got that, um, I got a couple sealed copies of Samurai Jack, which I think will be good. Um, just stuff I never find. I'm still looking for Dexter's Lab. I want to find a Dexter's Lab. Oh, that'd be sweet. Um, yeah, like just stuff you don't find. And then I got a couple, um, I think I got Our Real Monsters and Rockus Modern Life. Like any of the other Nickelodeon tapes that were mass produced, like the, uh, there's like Rugrats and I don't Yo, know. Some of them are ones. super like tough to get though, like right. the Rocco's Modern Life. And, like, yes. Some of them are like super hard to get. Like, yeah, yeah. Some of the, some of the Nickelodeon tapes, I don't know why. It seems like uh, Rugrats, dime a dozen. You can find them yeah. open sealed. They're worthless. But Rocco's right. Modern Life, Hey Arnold, those are some harder ones to find. You know what? I don't, I don't even like... Cause I, I'm, it's not like I'm looking for it, but I never even see like Hey Arnold when I'm uh like VHS hunting. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, well, that's, like I, that's, I don't even see listings for it. That's typically how I like figure out just from dealing with so much open stuff. If I'm like, wow, I've on all of the tapes that I've been through, I've only ever seen one of these, then I'm like, I have to find it sealed. <laughs> because... Yeah, it's good. Like, I went on a whole Nickelodeon kick where like I, I went for like, I don't know, like a hundred, a hundred and fifty tapes like at one point, like and sealed all that open. And it was like genuinely like harder to come by than like even the horror tapes at the time, like the underground ones, mm -hmm. even open for Nick stuff and like are you afraid of darks and all that stuff yeah some of the stuff can be super mm -hmm. rare and I feel like even harder to find than the Nickelodeon is Cartoon Network stuff and I don't know why I've only ever seen um, a couple of different things I, I know there's Dexter's Labs but they were in clamshells they were in like hard plastic clamshells and I've never found one sealed um, and then I got a couple Samurai Jacks I only want Powerpuff Girls I've seen that but like other than that Cartoon Network tapes are hard to find too. What about uh, 
Futurama? Futurama? Futurama was on VHS briefly, and I'm desperate to find them even open. I want one so fucking bad. Futurama. I just yeah. actually, I watched them uh, sold on eBay recently, um, but they uh, were the UK tapes. They weren't the um, NTSC. They were PAL. So I was like, man, I don't know. I don't want to pay that much for them because I can't even watch them. But man, yeah, I'm desperate to find Futurama open door sealed on VHS. Holy crap! Okay, so I'm looking oh, at. Hey, hey. It's Mikey. The you boss guys arrives. The the boss arrives. <gasps> Dave, let's <Right>? go. <laughs> right? What's up, let's bro? go. This is the, this is the first time we've talked face to face. We talk a lot on the phone. Oh. <laughs> but no, very cool. Great meeting you. I'm waiting for you, man. I know, dude. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I had to get something done real quick, but, but I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So, can you put the the highest price Maya first, or or, or how are these organized right now? Yeah, let me see. Because I, I want to see what's the number one tape right now on my comic on com, Comic Connect. <laughs> Has to be Killer Clowns. No Goonies. Goonies. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. That Goonies is gonna go. That those are nice watermarks. I'm not surprised these are the top four right now. Evil Dead. And I think Five. you're right about Killer Clowns. I think it's going to go for around six. Six thousand. I don't Mike even know. Says, no, Mikey, Mikey it. takes it down. Let's see. I have one. Uh, what's the grade? <laughs> <laughs> no, this one's whack. This one's like seven point five. Seven five. It's, it's low grade. Five. Well, it's not really low grade. They grade harsh. It depends because like their grading scale is weird. It's like you know you got to look their subgrades. So like you know uh, it, it could just be that the the corners are like a little messed up, or it could be that there's like a giant tear in it. And, uh, right, I think yeah. the, the evil day, the <laughs> evil day is the huge. grading scale is a little is is, is silly. It, um, so you know, I do like the evil day a lot. It could evil be, it day, could be beautiful. It could be beautiful at seven five. It could also be gross. Evil yeah, day, guys. Whoever gets sense. that evil day is gonna be a good buy. I hate that they don't put a lot of pictures on here no, too. I I think that's probably really pretty. I mean, those are the two sides that matter the most. Obviously, all sides matter. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom, the bottom, the bottom could be messed up. But you know that that's that's the majority of the surface area. So like you know, the corners that's look true. good too. This one's a little. Also, the up, bottom, but... the bottom really matters because there's this, there there's a tape. So so the thing is with this one, um, like uh, where where tape knowledge comes in to know if it's an earlier release or not. Um, the bottom of the tape is gonna be different. For being oh, okay. first release. There's also a chance that it could be two tone. Right, uh, I was gonna say that some of them are two tone. I think the one I have is two tone. And and there's also will be a line of, of lettering at the bottom of it. Um and the later release, which literally is just a year later, um, is or maybe is even within the same year. I don't know. But the, you want the earlier one. And you know, that kind of information matters. So like I mean, at least put a bottom photo. Yeah, it doesn't say. I know. I think that all the time because, like, some tapes, it's like if they have that sticker that's a barcode or if it's a two-tone tape, like, that matters. I need to see it. Like, <laughs> Does IGS even uh, notate that there is a two-tone tape or no? Yes, they don't. No, IGS actually probably notes too many things, but also sometimes <laughs> uh, notes, like, things that um, – I don't, I don't know. It's just it gets too confusing. It's too it's too much. They, they, they put stuff on there that sometimes doesn't even seem relevant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I, I liked how they used to put the weight of the tape on there. I thought that that was kind of cool. But that's because I'm a nerd. Yeah. Um, and I weigh my tapes. <laughs> I weigh my tapes. <laughs> um, being but, serious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Being fucking serious. But they they'll forget certain things. They'll forget to put certain things. Well, they'll put other stuff that is less relevant to a specific one. So which yeah, like one is this your favorite? I think oh, this that's... one they sh they should have put a picture of the bottom of the tape on it because this is just the this is just the all black one, right? It's the year before this. Yeah, that, 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 would, that would if it was two tone would be honestly that'd be really really cool. But what's important about this one is there could be a barcode on the side, right? But that would be in the um, in the description. So if, that I, I'm sure I'm sure IGS would have noted that. Yeah, they actually put a bigger description on this one too. I'm excited to see what this goes for because I have a copy of one of these laying around here yeah. somewhere. 
I, I, if it had a barcode on the side, I bet I'd yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what else we're at? Okay, did you guys take a look at their um, C CGC's video game holders? <laughs> yeah. CGC's video game holders. Yeah. Hmm. No, I didn't. What do you I'm think, excited what for them to be entering the market. I'm excited for them to be entering the market. <laughs> add more, add more diversity, integrating. I think it's a great thing, and, and and we should ignore some of some of the negativity around the design. <laughs> I didn't hear anything about this. I've, I'm totally. Clueless to this. Silly. They basically oh. copied the comic book logo specifically for it, and it just like it doesn't, it doesn't look right. Yeah, it really just... Oh, there we go. Look at that Temple of Doom. Remember, we saw that that group sold for five hundred. This mm -hmm. one alone is already at five fifty. Yeah, I'm excited to see what this demo, this Pulp Fiction demo, goes for too. Yeah. I'm pretty pumped. That's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. And space balls. Space balls. Yeah, space balls. Let me see. Bloody Valentine releases that. I don't think it's the first release. Can can you click on it, Maya? It's mm -hmm. first release that's out of this world. Eighty eight. I don't think says... it's the first release. No. Yeah, no, 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 far from it. Far from it. No, it should be a blue, blue Paramount on the front. It should be the first. Yeah, it'd be a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but isn't that a gay fold? It'd be a gay fold. But in the on the front, yeah, and it will be. Um, this is an eighty one movie, so on VHS, I think it came in eighty two, eighty three. Yeah, this one says this it's eighty eight. So. I thought they're not a good buy on this one, in my opinion. Yeah, if they get it for cheap enough. How much is it now? 300? 400? 460. No way. Mm. Seems kind of see high. Yeah. I'm excited to see what Spaceballs goes for, too. Does it have watermarks? I, I disagree on Bloody Valentine, by the way, because, like, I mean, even though it's high, like, I mean, you know, we we're, we like getting stuff as early as possible, but that's still a really tough movie that's extremely sought after for horror people. So, like, I mean, I don't think it's currently at a high price. I mean, it's you I think, think it's, it's low high relative to other things that have been bid up there, but I don't think that's a bad buy at all at four hundred or whatever dollars that it's at. Now, that space balls, that's an early space balls. That's really good. So they have a no picture at the bottom here. They do yeah, have a they do. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have a watermarks because it, the the earliest one uh, has. Uh, the sticker. Yeah, before you were uh, before you came on, we were talking about which MGM tapes have watermarks versus which ones don't. Yeah, the, um, earlier, the later ones. <laughs> the later ones have watermarks. Right? So I'm assuming they only included that picture to show that it had the because you can't see it from the front. Yeah. You can't see the sticker from the front, so they just included it on the bottom there. Yeah, that's exciting. I can't wait to see what that goes for. That's such a, that's a, such a cool movie. And a high demand one. The pumpkin head too. That's pumped cool. about that. That's nice. I'm that's like, nice. let it go low, and I will steal it. <laughs> Lolita. Hey, Which, I, um... I, I put a link to the uh, CGC holders in the uh, in the chat. Well, let me see. If you want to take a look. <laughs> oh, that's a CGC video game holders. Let me bring it over here. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I said, oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, interesting. Nah, interesting. It also doesn't make sense because you can't stack them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know it's how they that. I don't... They're supposed to be like uniform, right? Like, that's the whole thing. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> What's new, Mikey? What's new? Yeah. Well, I'm just happy to be like you know home again. I've been, I've been traveling too much recently, and so I've been you know well, way too off of social media. So getting my life together, and you know, it's always good. I hear you. <laughs> and uh, you know all that good stuff. Oh, look at the child's play. So that's a Japanese version. Do you guys believe in, in foreign releases? Or yeah. you, you want to stick to the U.S. releases? For some reason, I feel like the foreign horror releases are going to be a hit. I don't you know about so? anything else, but I think they are talking about already really comfortable. Um, the, yeah, the foreign horror is where like the diehard veterans of like the collecting communities like m m like navigate to. You right. know, is all of the foreign horror. And and I just learned something today that I thought was neat. The very first VHS, which you know everyone's told is the, you know the or VHS at home video. You know everyone says the sound of music, whatever. 
well, that's for America, or right. you know, at least that's what online says. I'm still not sure about that. But but the real first release was a South Korean movie in 1976. Yeah, something uh, about teacher, right? It's like teacher, teacher something. Teacher something. The, young, yeah. the young teacher. The young teacher. Yeah, the young right. teacher. So that that would be like the historical grail um, first at home video. Uh, if you could find one of those sealed, or just in general, they sell they sell for a lot open. Um, but yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street or the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas demo that looks cool. Oh, dude, I'm so pumped for that. I love that. that. Cool. Uh, and I like how they had a video wait up there also for Top Gun. That's cool. Yeah. Um, does Fright Night have back watermark? I doubt it. Right? I don't know. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Does it, is it even a full box? Yeah, it'd be a full box. Oh. Well, it should be. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah there, there it is. That's uh, a full box. Yeah, that's, that that's so it that's, isn't, that's not the first release though. I, dude, I don't. I, it seems like weird watermark placement. I mean, I can't imagine it is, but I don't like how they look at like more pictures. It's yeah. definitely like so the the color watermarks, from my understanding, which could be wrong, is that they were usually done for some sort of promo. And now, mm. who knows if that promo means it's it came out at the exact same time as the other. One. The only way to do that would be to open up a first release and that one and check the interiors. Sorry, Pablo, if I cut you off uh, when you're talking. I keep trying to jump back and forth between muting you and unmuting you so you can talk because <laughs> it's so loud where you are. I couldn't make it home today. <laughs> that's okay. Well, that, that's a great tape. That's, that's still that's sitting cheap still. Yeah, Lolita. yeah. Lolita. What about Lolita? I know nothing about this at all. What year is this? I know Carter is going to get a Lolita soon. Uh, <laughs> 81? 1981? 81, look at that. Oh, it's a big box. Okay. Big box. Hmm. What is the actual movie from, though? It's a... Uh, you know what? I want to say 60s. It's a Stanley Kubrick movie, so it's got to be, like, early 60s. Hmm. I know this auction was tomorrow. Yeah, I know. It's like <laughs> I wanted to pop in and see what they were doing, but it really doesn't seem like they've moved much since last week. We'll just have to look at it well, next week and see what they end at. That's the thing. It's like, you know, it's Waiting for the last the invasion of the body snatchers. That's cheap right there. Hell yeah. For now. That's why I just feel like everybody's waiting till the last minute and exactly. they're going to shoot this up. Is like, this is this is really some quality stuff. Like, I know, think it's a $300 tape, man. This is, this is by far the, the best um, – I mean, it doesn't have the best item that they've ever sold. I mean, maybe the Goonies will be. Who knows? But um, it's they definitely have better diversity than they've ever had. In right. Final options. What about what about Heritage, Mikey? Can you give us a quick uh, info yeah. about it or yeah, not? Yeah, tell us yeah, what's I'll, going I, on I'll, with that. I can do it after. I, I, I don't want to upstage them. I'll do it after. No, nah, that's okay. We ah! uh, we're gonna <laughs> look back at this tomorrow. I'm excited to see what this goes for too, because I got one of these laying around here oh, somewhere too. Cool. But uh, let me see. What is that? It's like from a box set. It's like audio commentary, but it's it was oh. part of a box set at one point. Let me see here. All right, Mikey, tell us what we got. tell us what we got going on here. Tell us, tell us what you know. Tell us what I know. Jeez, I most. By the way, I really only guess. <laughs> it's all just the guesstimation. It's all <laughs> guess at this point. So the the, the heritage auction has been. Uh, uh, I mean. So we're doing something kind of cool. Um, it is it, we're we're redefining it. So for this one on uh, for the Halloween auction, we decided to make it a feature Halloween showcase because we have enough actual just Halloween value alone to make this a real horror auction. And like so, it's going to be totally themed that, and then they're going to push and do the the big signature sometime around uh, December, sometime around December. And that's when like, you know, the real, like, you know, not that there's not, that they're really like, you know, there's five figure, multiple five figure items in this one, but like, you know, they're the, where there uh, is potentially six figure items in the other one. Ooh. Um, so, <laughs> and then this one's also really cool. Cause it has, you know, uh, like really sought after open tapes as well. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. So I know, like, off the top of my head, Attack of the Killer Refrigerator, uh, Black Devil Call from Hell, um, 
video violence, big box, all of the like massacres, Gorgar Girls, the the guy gang, uh, the, the Wizard of Gore, um, you know, necromantic. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the first release of Nightmare on Elm Street, um, a meta Halloween, uh, open, uh, open, open. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right, like, right, uh, right. Four hundred dollar tape. Open. But you know, all tapes that are like you know should be roughly you know a thousand bucks at least. Um, open. That's like usually where they sell for on eBay. Uh, well, I mean, Nightmare on Elm Street, maybe that's 500 bucks and maybe Chainsaw Massacre is 750 or whatever, but you know, that's what they seem to, you know, but you know, in that range. So really, really good stuff like that. And so roughly it's going to be on Halloween day, which is a Monday. On the, on the 31st? It's going to be on the 31st on Halloween, which is, a, which is a Monday. So at first I thought it didn't make sense either. Um, but the auction is going to be roughly around, you know, three, four o'clock while people are, you know, still at work on Halloween. Um, and like, you know, people don't work on Halloween. You have to go to work on Halloween, but people don't work on Halloween. Right. You know, they, they do fun things on their computer and that kind of stuff. <laughs> so it's actually like, like, I mean, it's perfect. So it's not going to be during trick or treating hours. It's going to be, you know, earlier than that. And then, you know, it, it's going to be while you know people are at. But this is three there. three o'clock, four o'clock Central Time then. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, exactly. Central Time. Exactly. Okay, so that's two o'clock for. And, and it'll roughly be like you know at a hundred lot auction, hundred just kick ass lots, um, and there's going to be. I can show you one piece from it uh, right let's now. Let's see. Let's see. Right. Uh, Ooh, really secret preview. Halloween day. Wow. Look at this on the I'm excited for that. I don't give me something no, it's, to it's, do. It's, 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 we, we haven't done this yet. And it's, you know, original, original VHS artwork. The killer tomatoes. Where? Where did you find that? Not <laughs> wicked. I, I mean, I might not reply to a lot of messages, but I do search. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, now you're you're just making you're taking this to a new level now. Now we're so, now we're doing artwork of covers. Oh. This is like you know like I don't know their fourth movie or whatever. But but you know the Attack of the Killer Refrigerator. I mean the Attack of the Killer Tomatoes is 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 a cult classic and one of the first um, VHS uh, and and at home videos ever. Um, there's a meta uh, Attack of the Killer Refrigerators from yeah. 1978. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> or tag of the killer tomatoes, my bad. Yeah, I know what you meant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so adding an original art. Open Ooh, tape. Tough. Great, great rare horror stuff. Really great rare horror stuff. And also, you know, the mainstream ones as well. And like, you know, nothing nothing like the last time where it was kind of um you know, there was like, you know, there'd be like, you know, a ten thousand dollar tape, and then a tape that, you know, would sell for two hundred bucks. And like, the bidding would start at like fifty dollars, and <laughs> take yeah. forever. No, these are all high end items, uh, so there's gonna be no, no weird lulls or anything like that. And uh, I mean, it's just, it's, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. It's horror, and right on. and it's it's the season mainstream horror, to obscure horror, and also, you know, I mean, just two new facets of the hobby that haven't been explored publicly just like you know more so through you know private communities so it's gonna be a really cool really cool way to see how you know the new people react to it well, I'm and then also you know the old fans do as well on halloween day on the 31st uh, yes, on, halloween. <laughs> on halloween pablo is this uh ruining some plans you had <laughs> Yeah, I was going to go and I was, I was going to dress up as a VHS, you know, like a, a, mo a mobile VHS costume. And now I'm not going to be able to do it. I mean, it, it's, it should be done, you know, fairly early. <laughs> I want to go trick-or-treating. I just got all this candy. It's it sh it's not going to affect trick-or-treating time, Pablo. By the way, by the way guys, what, what do you guys think, for example, like D DVD horror? Do you think buying dvds of like trick or treat is one of my favorite movies that came in 2007. remember dave raccoon city yeah that we're talking about that's one of my that's favorite awesome movies movie. of all that's an awesome movie because unfortunately it's not on vhs but i think the dvd of it seal that will be a good an interesting buy what do you think dave i don't i don't know about all that <laughs> see i don't know either i know there are people who collect uh sealed dvds but i'm like nah i don't I like that at all 
there's specific ones that probably people should go after. I think the the the, the, the Dark Knight, you know, with Heath Ledger, uh, I think that's a that's an interesting DVD to buy. I feel like so I bought a demo DVD of that. I bought it. Oh, you had the demo? Okay, that's good. That's good. That was like 15 bucks on eBay. I was like, sure. I was like, sure. That's a that's an iconic movie. Down the line, I mean, twenty years from now, I think a lot of guys are gonna be looking for that. Well, I think there's specific ones that are are definitely cool, and you know, the earliest DVDs are gonna be scarce. Um, and also, I mean, there's specialty ones with limited releases and that kind of stuff. And also, if you add in signings and all that kind of stuff from celebrities, right? You know, it's just there's ways that. I mean, absolutely, and that, that could absolutely transition into the high end. That's um, a good point, Mikey. I think for VHS, that's the that's one of the things I think VHS I love the most that you can connect with the with the actor or with the director. Imagine if you have Quentin Tarantino, I can sign a copy of your Kill Bill or Reservoir Dogs, or if you have I don't know Meryl Streep. No, or Robert, if you do Robert. like this, and then you bring in these these other guys. Where am I? Oh, that's that's Goonies. Yeah, so you have this. What the hell? Where am I? Yeah, see that's that's like the Japanese one or whatever. No, this is a paperback, Mikey. Well, that's the paperback. Yeah. Oh, well, it's also the foreign. It's the foreign cover. It's the foreign cover. There we go. So there you go, and then you have the date with it. Wow. How they complement each other. They do. That's yeah. Do. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So you have more paperbacks. Show us the paperbacks. Oh, so you can go on and on. Let me see that. Whoa. Whoa, that's cool. That's cool. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> where am I? Yeah, where am I? I hate this shit. You just do it again. Go get it. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, I like that. Great cover. Man, you're ready. Look at you showing the pay. Do you have do you have the Halloween paperback? Oh, there you go. Oh man. I love that. Oh, that's that's awesome! I didn't even realize there were paperbacks of these things. See, I didn't Carter. either until more recently. Scanner, oh, I kind wow! Of spiraled into it. Look at that scanner! Almost every one of them. And then wow! They European first prints, and then they have American, you know, second prints of each one. But they have them of almost every single one of them. Oh my God! Do you think this this could be graded, Mikey? Uh, well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, of course they can be graded. Uh, I mean, the number of pages is going to be what makes it difficult, but, you know. Well, the thing, look at that. Probably very unlikely for there to be a restoration or pages missing in any of these. So, you know, was that. My Full mind's fucking quality. blown. Yeah, easily can do page quality. I mean, like, I would love it if they started grading uh, mangas and if they started grading, you know, all books in general. I mean, obviously, um, uh, pulps um, are, are, are the big hot topic. Uh, because the you know CGC has been talking about that for um, Ever? Uh, I think it's been ten or twenty years now, something like that. <laughs> like that. And, um, the and they've, almost, they've almost got it. They've almost got it. It was it was supposed to be last January, and then it was the last January, and then it was the last January, and then it was the last year. But now it's supposed to be this January. Yeah. And <laughs> the page count is going to make those graders go postal. Well, the thing is, is my, the. What I'm most worried about with the pulps is just how old they are is a really big issue. And some of them are already just so brittle that they're going to be like, I don't care how well you can preserve it. Like it, they're going to be falling apart in there. And so it makes it really difficult. That makes it really difficult. And I don't know how they're going to get around that. They have to airtight seal it or what, but it's just... Mm -hmm. It, that's that's the difficult piece of engineering, in my opinion, for pulps. Um, if anyone, if any of you all have seen pulps before, the the artwork on the front of them is out of this world. It, yeah, like their nice. pulp cover, the best pulp cover art beats. I mean, it rivals the best VHS art easily and beats the best um, comic book art. Um, it's just they're not they're not. I mean, they're not as well known. They're older, um, and a lot of um, the the biggest characters in history came out of pulps. So like uh, Tarzan, Tarzan came out in pulps. Conan came out in pulps. Um, 
uh, 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 Doc Savage came out in Pulps. The Shadow. The Shadow. <laughs> yeah, The Shadow. He also came out in Pulps. Cthulhu. Cthulhu came out in Pulps. Um, <laughs> H.P. Lovecraft, I mean, he has great, uh, a lot of, if you find the ones that, uh, with his storylines on the inside. But other than that, I think the Pulps is just the cover that you're really buying. Um, well, also significance too i mean like the first conan you're not just buying the cover for that one because i mean that he's technically not on the cover it really looks like he's on the cover but that is not conan on the cover but that doesn't seem to be affecting the value of that book it sells for you know five figures in bad condition so you know like that doesn't seem to affect it um uh, and uh then you can get his first cover appearance also and i mean that one sells very well also and i just still can't see the difference between the two guys i guess it <laughs> looks nothing like conan no it looks nothing like I, no well, it's different it's different but it's still it's the it still is the conan he looks um, like uh rudolph valentino or something <laughs> no but they're awesome covers still i mean they're still he's like battling a dragon or he's got or there's a girl chained up with them and i mean there's all these like insane insane pulp covers even in science fiction and in horror like in like gruesome like like some kkk stuff and like you know people getting decapitated and like dude they didn't they went all it was like brutal brutal um and then just some of them are artistically beautiful um and yeah like i mean they're just i mean true true pieces of artwork and they that's the reason a lot of pulp covers they i mean they sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars that like you covers you've never seen before so paper box is gonna be next <laughs> i don't know about all that <laughs> we'll see we'll see but pulps I, i'm gonna I, stick I, to covers like red, yeah. I'm going to keep my eyes on the prize and stay with VHS tapes and not let you guys distract me with all this other shit. Although it is tempting. <laughs> it's, t it's tough serving mo multiple masters. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just, if the right opportunity presents itself, <laughs> that's how I look at it. That's how I look at it. All right, guys. So do you have any other uh, VHS related topics you want to throw out there before we wrap this up? I got, I do have pickups. Oh, you want to, okay. You ready to do your pickups? Yeah. Excellent. Show us I didn't know beauty. if when you were like, we're going to skip that, if you just wanted to wait till Mikey got here, if you were like, let's wait yeah, till unless, next week. Yeah I, need, yeah, I need as many eyeballs on, on this <laughs> as possible. We got to make we got to make sense of this shit. Okay, okay. so we're going to start with, okay, so this tape weighs eight ounces, and this is um, Pichot, cool. Pichot from 1980. And what I can appreciate about this is that we have the pre-RCA Columbia logo up top. And oddly enough, we have the RCA watermarks on the back. And uh, this movie was jarring, to say the least. It's about um, uh, kids in Columbia, who, uh, street kids, who get rounded up sent to like a very corrupt reform school and um hijinks ensue but uh yeah it's a insane movie and uh i'm glad i came across glad i got this all right i feel like i gotta add that to my watch list Dude, that thing's sick by the way i mean getting anything with that box is nuts yeah, yeah. and then and also, there's the earlier water bikes too if you get those also but it's yeah, I know Taxi Drivers started off like that. Yeah, I've never seen one of those. Okay, so this one is 6.8 ounces. And we have uh, GoBots, Battle of the Rock Lords. Cool. So this came out the same year as Transformers the movie. Uh, about five months before that. And uh, we have the side Paramount Watermarks, which is interesting because it's a kid's movie. And you never expect to see legitimate watermarks like anything with anything having to do with like kid stuff so yeah we got rock lords hmm. next next we've got how much does this one weigh let's see i love that you guys are just all into weighing these now you got your I, scales out I got, like i got my scale feelers or something i got my scale something so, nefarious this, happening here eight eight ounces Eight no, ounces. Whoa, I'm just beautiful. weighing my tapes. Look, Mikey. Okay, so uh, the Invisible Man. That's sick. Gene Shalit's 
So is this the very first release of the Invisible Man? Let me see the back. Exactly. Okay, so this is nineteen. It's pretty old. There should be a there should be a Rambo one, right? Nineteen eighty seven. I mean, no, I mean, I, mean, I think it should be it should be earlier than that. But that's still, yeah, that's, that, a great that, that's an oldies movie, right? Right. Yeah, because right, right. these are movies from the fifties. I would assume um, that all of the movies, the oldies, the classics, would have been released in the era of rainbow watermarks. With this them. is thirty three. If I had to guess. 1933? Wow. Yeah, this is 33. Yeah. So I don't even think they would have... Okay, because I know they did, you know, they would think to release Frankenstein, Dracula, but I I think the Wolfman, the very first uh, the Wolfman, that that came out around the same time because it had this... You might uh, be right, yeah. You might be right. ...thing at the bottom, so... Mm. So this might be the first release of the yeah uh, yeah, yeah you're right it might be I mean that's a good point definitely the Frankenstein and all that you're right box. Yeah. Gene Shaw what, what did you say Mikey I already found an earlier box <laughs> damn it <laughs> oh, he's, he's like good. let me just show him crush your fucking dreams uh, I'm, I'm sorry that's not um, Mikey dream crusher yeah, I'm okay. I, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a great it's a great movie and I don't see it very often. What's I don't it? see it actually at all really and it's and it's a classic. Like that is an, as an absolute classic and it has a remake and all that. So well I I, I can't wait to look for the earlier box of um What is that? What is that? Oh my god. Bugs Bunny Roadrunner movie. This is the 1986 no uh no recycle symbol no I'm well so there jealous. is side uh barcode and very very faint watermarks i'm so very jealous. faint very Look faint all of them on there they've got wiley coyote and marvin martian on there this is uh this is a movie from like 1979 which i didn't realize Nice. I didn't even realize I, I have a ton of these like in the clamshells. I never realized that there was like a slip for that. 8.8 .8 ounces, by the way. I'm salty. I'm jealous right now. Um, what the hell is this? Okay, so this is a Betamax uh, Terror Knots. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I love it. Terror <laughs> And look at the Look at the white. Oh. It's a white out. It's a white out. I can't see. So great. Okay. Those are great. From, yeah. Is that eighties? Eighties movie? Uh, this is from nineteen fifty something. Uh, that has to be the first release with those watermarks, man. There's just there's no way. It has to be the first release. Yeah. So okay. So the only release. Yeah, I would be the only release. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's got to be really, really rare. Okay. Nice, so. Card. I believe this is a 1967 movie, and this is a 1987 release. Did you find yeah. that in the wild? Or did you pick that up online? Uh, online. Wow. Doing yeah. the magic, the magic tricks. Yeah, you know how we do. <laughs> and it's look at this whiteout. It's a complete whiteout. Those out. are great. How much does it weigh? Seven point six ounces. Mm, light tape. By the way, okay. Now we got it. We got it. <laughs> Not first release. Not first release. <laughs> Oh right. no, he's just no. rushing one That's after another. Nothing. I get these. These are cheap enough. It's okay. <laughs> we'll find okay. Um we'll uh we'll uh we'll trade info. We'll uh Whoa, look at that cover. Okay, so Ooh, I like dead that. E dead easy. Okay, so this is a 1989 release of a 1982 movie. What are the watermarks? Virgin. 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 Wow. Oh, yeah, Virgin, nice Virgin, Virgin video. Yeah, I've never seen that's that. That's rare. So, all right. Wow, that's the only other copy I've ever seen of that movie. I have this, um, an open copy, and I yeah. couldn't find any information on it online. Let me, hold on, let me go see what the front of it looks like. The front let me grab it. Uh, from what I understand, there is an earlier version from i think 82 i think it came out under vcl oh you... yeah you've seen it dave yeah i know what you're talking about now that you said the vcl like one yeah, yeah. so is it's VCL... still, that's, a, that's a great cover though like that yeah great cover yeah but uh yeah. I, 
VCL, that's like overseas, right? So I would say that's not probably a first release because the right. one that I have is exclusively distributed by media. Wait, let me. Exact. Yeah. Even though this oh, is a, that yeah, might be a cool. different movie. Nice. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. Yep. Nineteen eighty-four. And then it's got like oh media eighty two yeah. release yeah so it's a media release yeah so you should have media watermarks this it'll focus yeah there we go yeah, yeah I like same it. movie right it should be because I saw the girl on the back cover mm -hmm. the, the girl in the front cover there yeah yeah okay. I saw the watermarks on it I'm like eh. well, there you go. that's probably yeah. the first release then that's probably the first release then hmm. the media release has to be the first. If I had to guess, I would say yeah. I would say yeah. Yep. 8.4 ounces. And what the hell is this? Okay, so we got Cry Baby. Love it. Okay, now the Perfect. main reason why I bought this is because it has the... This is going to be tough as nails to see, but it has the old school MCA home video watermark instead of the MCA Universal watermark. That's the oh, only, wow. reason, why I, that's the only the reason why I bought this. Only reason. Not for tough. Tracy Lords? Not, for, uh, not because of Tracy Lords? Nah. <laughs> 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 this is the only reason. And I noticed like all of the sealed copies of Crybaby have been like bought up. So, and Yeah, I think Johnny Depp's making a comeback. That could be the sure. It's all Johnny good. Depp. Oh, we found... Right. Another copy of Scream for Help. So you got uh, two of those now. I got two, yes. Nice. Okay. Uh, Mikey, I think uh, you might have missed the when we talked about this. The ah, the okay, so there's a sex scene in the middle of the movie that gets oh, is there? Cage, <laughs> yeah. and legend has it that the uh, VHS release has that uh has the full sex scene in it and on top well, of that, one way to find out i see <laughs> <laughs> so uh we got a two-tone tape and juicy juicy watermarks down you the do middle two of them now i think you should open one <laughs> <laughs> if i if i, I really, agree if i really want to stunt i'll uh i'll open one <laughs> on camera oh my God. and uh one of my one of my favorite movies of all time we have uh major league first release for uh what, what say you what say you let me see the side I mean, I say yeah. I say yes. I say Side. yes, but I'm not totally sure. I'd Water say yes. Though. It's got. It's got to be. It's got to be. Okay. Yeah, I think. I don't think there's a. Yeah, I don't think there's an early. Yeah, yeah it's got. I mean, unless there's some box difference that I'm unaware of. Uh, 1990. Does it say 1990 on the back? Uh, 89. 89. Yeah, it should. It should be the first. All right. Cool. Yeah, because we have the barcode at the bottom instead of at the top. So. Mm -hmm. um, Sweet. So, how much is this way? Eight point five ounces. I think that's a good weight for that time period. Yeah, that's very good weight for that time period. I believe that is it. Cool. Anybody else got anything they want to show before? Hey, we... show us something, today, Raccoon. Come on, show us something. Don't put me on the spot. Like <laughs> <laughs> show some of the comic book. Show Mikey the super mystery and that manhunt. The manhunt 14 that you have over there in that back. Yeah, it's now a comic podcast. Yeah, I know. I, I, Paulo's obsessed. I'm obsessed with it. Let's see the VHS, Mikey. What is that? I don't know what this is. It's got Sean Connery in it. Yeah, that looks it's awesome. Italian? No. Nice, like, Dave. Oh. Um, a few things. Looks like you're feeding the raccoon instead of pointing the camera. Guys and dolls. Huh. What else you got, Dave? Oh, I picked up a couple of these. I don't know what the ha what's going to happen with these Rob Zombie films. I'd like to think eventually they'll be they'll be worth something, but who knows? So I think yeah, everybody knows that. October 31st, Halloween day. Instead of go trick or treating, 
everybody has to be glued to the computer. They can still go <laughs> trick or treating. Like, I'm gonna be dressed up as an evil doctor, and I'm gonna be bidding on the auction. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> on a Monday. <laughs> I already have nine different Halloween costumes picked out, but I think I'm just going to be a ghost. I'm just going to wear a shirt <laughs> and cut the eyes out and be a ghost. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, Mikey, did you have anything else you wanted to throw up? or Show us something, Mikey. Show us a cool taste. Show us some horror He's stuff. He's looking. I'm like waiting to see if he wants to show chop us something. Him <laughs> show us a okay, choppy mall. Show us a choppy mall. Well, yeah, because I mean, I, this is going to be one of the tapes that's in it. Not this specific copy, but, you know, one, one of the... I, mean, I love Chopping Mall. Horror tapes. Who does? Uh, sealed, that you never find sealed. Sells for a few hundred bucks open. Sealed copy. Be in beautiful condition, condition. I think it's an 85. 85? BGA? Open it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Danny. Calm down. <laughs> yeah. we, we might... We, I think we have the open big box version of this. Whoa. Nice, no, really awesome. Um, and this is this tapes in what 500 bucks ish open, yeah. Open is 400, so seal should be big time, right? Um, here, mm. yeah, that's awesome. We're debating, so actually, I'd like you guys' opinion on this because there's a tape in the auction that you know, I mean, we're we're debating holding back because. You know, the knowledge about, um, you know, no watermarks being on stuff so early, um, is that going to detract bidders? So, like, it's not this specific one, but the items carry. So just as awesome. But, you know, it's 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 old, old <laughs> magnetic video. Absolutely exact same seams as this. It's, it's de definitely fine. Um, yeah. But no watermarks because they didn't have watermarks till 81. So do you think that that would be premature to sell? What do you think, Dave? It needs to be described properly and just well, definitely will be. Push definitely will be described properly. All angles will be shown. You'll be able to see the seams. But it's still like that reassurance for, for people. They lo love the watermarks. It's obvious. It's third-party authenticated and all that. Um, and, and, you know, checked. Uh, I've been double-checked by, you know, the heritage expert. <laughs> there. Um, so, you know, there's lots of layers of authenticity. Um, but it still does that make it premature because this is a tape in my opinion that uh, i think should be worth well into the five figures um because it might be the only one that exists um and it's stephen king's carry but is it too early to sell it because it doesn't have watermarks and people might be too scared about that Yes, too early. Yeah, I think too early too. Too early, yeah. You have to see some later carries to see how they sell, and then just you, you bring that one up. Well, we have seen how a later carry is sold. Uh, in the Heritage Auction prior, no. one no, did okay. sell, That's and it's for thousands of dollars. And, and that was a much later carry. So there is a later, like it shows the demand for it uh, already. And this is one that is about, you know, four, four to six years earlier than that release was. And I think that you, uh, if you hold on to it, you run no risk, right? I mean, well, it's not, it's, it's not, it's not my tape. So it's oh, not right, really right. up to me. It's a, but, you know, I want to inform the consigner, you know, what's best for him. Right. Um, or her. <laughs> or them or them <laughs> and uh if like you know they think you know if we think that you know we want to do the best for them so like is it time for them to sell it and make it a featured item in this showcase or do you think the education isn't out there enough yet um even if it is promoted in the sense where you know enough like you know it's it's advertised properly and all the information is put out there saying you know why there's no watermarks and all of that um do you think that would make it still that would still scare people off from bidding hmm. i don't know i mean i think if they if they're putting it in the auction because they want to get rid of it now um 
I would trust that if, if it oh, were in a, if it were in a heritage auction, had no problem. If but it were like, in a heritage auction and it's graded, I think that that's been through enough layers of uh, authenticating for me to feel confident about it. And but th that's the thing. It's like it's one of those things that's like I know for a fact it'll sell for at least ten grand. Right. And then I see the Goonies that sold for fifty thousand dollars in Heritage, and I'm like, well, there's no comparison to me about which is a, a better tape. That right. I'll, I'll take the I would I would have traded it, the carry for that Goonies. Um, like I mean I would have traded the the Goonies for that carry. I mean right. would, like that is absolutely a much cooler, rarer more significant item and like that's the thing it's like absolutely this guy is gonna get you know a lot of money for it but it, holding it for another three months for the next big auction would that be you know more ideal for him and yeah it would or be, them, but or you, you have to run the cibs in the meantime you know what you're doing like coming up yeah, but those CIBs are more obscure, you know, obviously. I mean, there is like, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre open and that kind of stuff. But, you know, a, a carry magnetic isn't going to sell for too, too, too much open. Um, might might sell for like a hundred bucks, but it's not it's not something that uh, that sh I think should be in the auction. Really should keep it at stuff that's going to sell for at least a thousand. No, I mean, it's just like more like time and exposure for it in general. I mean, like with yeah. this coming up on to just spread more yeah know? and it's a, and it's a debate and it's a debate and obviously if it ends up going into it which where will that they, they will be deciding this week um you know there will be absolutely proper education and videos you know associated to it if it ends up being in this auction um but you know still a little bit of a topic so who knows yeah no for sure i can see that and also, it's on the Halloween focus auction. If people love it and it's Halloween, it might be the best time to sell it because, you know, people will might be Halloween crazy. So, who knows? Yeah, I absolutely think that selling the stuff uh, on Halloween or before is the best bet. Charles was telling us earlier, too. He's like, you know, I don't know anybody who sells more uh, horror tapes for as long as he has done it. And the sales for it always dump after Halloween. So. I think it's the smartest way to do it. <laughs> so Get it on the hype. That. So there's that. <laughs> but then there are some tapes that do transcend just the horror genre. And I think Carrie's one of those. I mean, it's mm. a horror tape, but it's also super significant and, and, and so rare. I mean, to have one is nuts. Mm. And Keen movie. Oh. The best Stephen Keen movie will be that one and then Christine. Mm. Oh, look at that. Look at that cover. See, I don't show know. Again, I, I'm, Dave, I'm show it again, Dave. Uh, the Mikey shining. didn't see it. Look at, look at that it, cover, Mikey. Oh, dude, you didn't get a shining, like the actual, the, 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 oh, I, think the, shining. the um, I think there's the box. I think the box. Exists. There was a, the one of the clamshells, one of the green clamshells, and it was the alternative cover. Yeah, it's it's been on eBay. It's just the sticker looks funky. Oh, is that what it is? I was, it's That's, just, it's sold. Yeah, it's, oh, it just sold? And I was like. How did I miss that? Like no, how, well, nobody's talking about it. But I've, hmm. I I I almost bought it quite a few times, and I just mm. I, like, I can't I can't spend that much. <laughs> and, and, and the sticker looked too too funky. To me. I don't know for certain. I don't know for certain at all. I need to see it, but I, too much of a gamble. Yeah, tell. I couldn't tell. All right, guys. Well, I think uh, there we will wrap it up. Let me find <laughs> our outro here. Peace out, guys. Great show, guys. Thank well, you. Next week. <laughs>